closing. Yeah, you can like tap it and yeah. <laughs> and it shoots one way, you can tap the other way. Yeah. Oh, come on. Thanks for keeping track. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to Vlogmas. So it is Tuesday morning and um, I am definitely behind on the content creation, like really behind, but um, thank you so much for the nice comments on yesterday's video. Uh, it's, uh, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a, a sort of a, an interesting time over the next few months, I think. So we'll just see how it goes, but um, thank you so much for being so kind and loving and uh, I, I felt hugs all over the comment section. So last night I had a great time at Derek's uh, playing Super Smash Brothers. We had a great time as you can see. And I uh, we took Clover to the bank this morning to go <laughs> figure out our uh, HOA situation. We got that all squared away hopefully. And um, I have I do have a lot of work to do today, but I'm gonna do a little bit of little bit of self-care and my way that I do self-care is I take care of my plants. <laughs> so today I was gonna just just rock up to the plant shop just so I can grab some potting soil and maybe a couple of other things and just to see what they have, if they have anything good. So I normally take Clover, but he's just been on a walk and I think I'm just gonna leave him behind. Uh, I just want to not have to deal with, you know, uh, having to watch him and stuff. So he's going to stay here because we, he just went for like a long 40 minute walk. Oh, here he is. Did you hear me talking about you? Did you hear me talking about you? I don't think I'm going to take you to the plant shop, but you're going to have to stay here with dad. Oh my gosh, look at, you've got, you're like, look at you, you are the town Swiffer. How cute is this face? I mean, look at this face. Look at that face. So I've got to like clean my plants today make sure they're all not thirsty. I think for the most part they're not thirsty. I do go periodically and go around and, and water them. They're mostly in the office because the office gets the most sunlight of every room in the house. So they're quite happy in here, especially the Calatheas are doing really well. I mean, knock on wood. Um, that's not wood, but I'm going to knock on it anyway. The Calatheas are like happy. So... It's also not winter, but I also want to clean my humidifiers, set those up. Like I want to do a whole like self-care, plant care day. So um, I'm gonna get to strolling. I forgot that my favorite, favorite store was closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, which is a bummer, but um, I'm here at Pemberton Farms instead. So they have really nice plants as well. And they also have a really nice like gourmet grocery store that I may go into just for fun. I just ate, so I'm not really hungry, but you know, I'll just take a look to see what's in there. Or <laughs> I don't know. Um, we're doing a little self-care day. So let's go look at some plants.
Oh, this little fur is so cute. Like, this is a little fern. What is this? It's a frosty fern. Adorable. I don't know if I could take it home and take care of it, but look at the little cow and color. That's so cute. Oh, wow. Look at this. She's going crazy. These are beautiful. There's some tropicals. A little sense of area. I love this idea to meet I'm thinking about getting one. Oh no, is this different back here? I think this is actually different back here. No, it's Aglionema. They look very similar. <laughs> this one has nice round leaves like a different back here. Well. Mm. I think about it, it looks very nice. I like this one. Oh, look at this bad boy. This one, the philodendron. It's so awesome. What is this one? Moonlight? A really handsome plant. We have more tropicals back here. Don't ever bring one of these home. <laughs> they are spider bite magnets. Oh wow, it's a little stranthy, but like the regular green kind. Oh, I'm so tempted. My stranthy trio star is doing really well. I'm tempted to bring another one of these home. This is the regular green. It's pretty cute. Oh, look at, oh my gosh, it's the little like splashy variegated ones. Oh, and this one is, wait, is this one a trio star? Cause it looks like magic star, but is it trio star? It's like, no, I guess it's, I think it's trio star. Cause look at that variegation, but it's like really splashy. But then you get some nice sectoral variegation here. This is Trio Star, huh? I kind of wanted Magic Star, to be honest. You know? Because this one looks like Magic Star. Got a little ZZ here. Could be a possibility for the entryway. Look at that cute Shafara Shafara back there. So cute. Like, this ficus is so pretty. I don't know if I can give it what it needs, though. It's so pretty, though. Um, hello, what are you? What are you? What is this? It's so cute. There's two of them. I don't know what they are. Big tree of star. <laughs> this landed upright. Oh my goodness. So this is a big tree of star, about the same size I have at home. A lovely plant. Wait, can I even get back here? This seems like it's not like a place for me to go. Employees only area. Can I have this different block here? Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it. I'm gonna hold it and hopefully <laughs> maybe I can have it. I don't know. Some succulents over here. All kinds. Aloe plants. Some cuttings back here. Where would I put this one? I'm not sure. But it's so pretty. Oh. Is it worth it? Like the sap from these is like a little bit poisonous. <sighs> oh, but look at it though. It's so beautiful. Yeah, see this is most definitely Agnanina here. And this is different Bakia. They do look a little different, but they, they, they look very similar, you know? If I can get a plant stand for this one, I'm gonna take it home. Cause look at it. Look at that. Oh, it's too pretty. I have to take it home. Okay. I've done a thorough inspection of this plant and it looks pest free so far, but we're still gonna not get it super, super close to other plants. And I think I'm gonna try Spathophyllum for the first time. This is also known as like a peace lily and it's got some blooms on it already. So, I don't know. I heard these are um, kind of difficult. Like they are fussy about like being watered a lot so we'll see if I can keep up with it but I think that'll do it and I got some soil I came here for soil <laughs> so I got soil but I think we'll try the spathophyllum and then we'll try the diffenbachia I don't know which variety of diffenbachia this is but I can definitely find out and put it on the screen for you um there's no there's no tags on it but I know it's diffenbachia so um yeah and I was gonna get this Ace Canthus. I think these are Ace Canthus. 
um, like lipstick plant or a goldfish plant. This has got little flowers on it. But both of these, I think, have um, some mealybug. Oh yeah, you can see like right there. Where? It's right that little white thing. Right there. There it is, the bug of mealy. So I think it had a few of those on there. Um, so I won't be picking this one up, and I'm gonna tell the staff so they can. I don't know what they do with these, but they definitely have some mealy bug infestation. It's too bad because it's a very cute plant. It's also too bad it's right next to this um, syngonium because I would pick these up as well, but uh, I don't want to take the chance. Oh, so all the tires are at the correct PSI, but now it got colder again, and now look, the light is back on. What the heck? What the heck? It's going to the repair shop tomorrow, so we're going to get everything. We're going to get inspection, oil change, all that stuff, and they're going to look at the tire pressure and light. I swear, the, all the tires are at 30 PSI. What the heck? Okay, so I have made my purchase. I told the store employee about the H. Cananthus, I think that's what it's called, that has the mealy bug on it. So she's gonna probably take it off the shelf. She was like, thank you for letting me know. I'm like, yes. Cause like, the last thing I wanna do is buy a house plant and have it be infested with mealy bugs or whatever. So um, these guys that I picked up look okay so far. So I'm gonna give them a big bath at home, a nice little shower, just in case. And I'm gonna look at it even more closely and then we're gonna decide what to do with them. But I think I have some nice cash posts for them to go into. So I'm really excited to uh, clean and take care of some plants today. All right, let's do it. Oh, and I got this little wreath for the front of our door. It's really tiny and cute, but I I love it. It's adorable. It's, it's real juniper and uh, with some pine cones on it. It's so, 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 so cute. I love it. So I've put the Diffenbach here, here um, sort of in its little isolated area. It's right next to a window. It's in a cute little standing planter. And apparently, according to the internet, this is Diffenbach here, Camille. If it is not, please let me know which variety this is because it didn't have a tag, but uh, the internet says Diffenbachia Camille. So it's up here where Clover can't get to it because if you, if dogs like eat this, it's not good. And I should probably wash my hands after handling it because I could, uh, well, the sap from these tends to be a little bit poisonous. And the reason it's called dumb cane is if you if you eat this, like your tongue swells up <laughs> and you can't talk for a while. So, but, it is absolutely stunning. Look at that plant. Ugh, I've always, 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 always wanted a Diffenbachia. Can I just stare? Can I just stare at it? I'm just gonna stare at it for like a couple minutes. It's just so stunning. And the little spathophyllum is here. And I, I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like I've never had a peace lily and I heard that they can be, I've heard that they're both easy and also difficult at the same time. I heard they really like to be like wet, like a lot. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it, make sure I water it uh, frequently, but it's got some blooms and look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful leaves on it. Like these are something special. Oh, this leaf had like a little bit of an injury, oh no. But like, look at this one, look at it. You know, I like common plants. I have a couple of like more rare plants, but like, Common plants for me are where it's at. You know, I don't need like, and like, well, maybe I do need Philodendron Gloriosum, but like this'll do, you know? Like, she's, look, look at that. Oh. And I got it in this little standing planter here, so hopefully uh, it will be okay with this light, this window right here, I think it'll be fine. Uh, these plants love these windows. These are like Southwest facing windows, they love it. Especially those guys over there, they love that corner. Okay, I also have 
have a Rapida Flora Decursifa. This one hasn't done any growing for me, except it's like really, it's just going that way. <laughs> this, it's, I mean, it's got nodes, so hopefully it'll do some growing. I'm gonna put this in a bigger pot. Um, so maybe, maybe it'll have more potential. Um, but look at the leaves, the leaves are really pretty. I'm gonna give it a good cleanup too, a little shower cleanup and a repot. All right, I've potted her up in a slightly bigger pot. So hopefully, Maybe it'll grow a little more. I don't know, give it a good drink of water too. Uh, but a really beautiful plant. Eventually these leaves, oh, there's like a bunch of soil on the leaves. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Eventually these leaves get fenestrated. So this one is starts, is, has a little, one little split in it there. But apparently the adult form of these leaves is just beautiful if they climb. So um, hopefully it'll grow a little more. And uh, I don't know, it's had these many leaves since I bought it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So um, I'm hoping I get another one soon, or maybe it's gonna slow down for winter and not do anything at all. So I don't know, but here it is. This is a, a Raffidophora decursifa. rabbit's foot fern that I bought, I think when I buy this, like in July, I was afraid I was going to kill it, but I, I remember like to water this a lot because I know it likes to be really thirst, uh, wet. Well, not wet, but like moist. And it's doing really cute. It's doing really well. Look how cute it is. I put it in a different pot because I wanted to see how it would look. And it looks super cute in this pot. These are, um, these pots were from an anthropology collab with an artist, I think her name is Marinsky. Um, anyway, they're, I mean, they're sold out now, but are they not the cutest pots you've ever seen? Like, look how cute. Uh, I can show you the other two. I bought the whole entire set because I just loved them, but like, this fern is adorable and I love her. And let me show you the other pot. I'm putting them all together. So here is the yellow pot. It's more of a round shape, but this one has my Peperomia scandens in it, which this is the only pep that I have that's doing okay. I, for some reason, I don't do well with Peperomia as a genius, a genus. Like, I just don't, I don't know what it is, but this one has been good. It's, it's scandens, so it started out like upright like this, and then it started uh, crawling, which it's, it's, its name is Scandens, so it's supposed to grow this way, but it's really cute. And, uh, but look at the pot, look at the pot. I'll show you the third pot. I have to be careful because this one actually has cuttings in it. Um, it's not like potted, but like, look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? And originally I bought all three, uh, and this one came completely broken. Um, but my husband found it. Uh, it just popped back on sale at Anthropology, and he bought it for me, like as a surprise. Isn't that nice? Um, wow, she's getting covered up. Her face is getting covered up by all these leaves. <laughs> this is just cuttings of my Monstera adansonia because I, uh, I gave it a good haircut, uh, and I'm just gonna root these cuttings and make another plant. But like, look at that, so cute. <sighs> okay, I'm all done washing and repotting and watering, cleaning the bookshelf here. Well, not bookshelf, the plant shelf here. I think I will finish up my plant chores another day. Like I do have still have some lights to install. I've got the humidifier to set up because it's getting to be winter time and the humidity is going to drop. Um, I'm going to keep the plants happy. But I'm happy with what I accomplished and I'm really excited about my new ones. Look at that. Look at my hand there. Yay! Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed relaxing with me today, doing a little self-care. I've got to get back to work. I've got to edit this, and i got to edit another video, and i got to practice for music tonight. So I'll start the vlog right after this one, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas
whispers in my heart.